My name is Anthony. I'm from Malta. In case anybody doesn't know where Malta is, I have a little map here to show you. So this just goes to show you how far the YouTube channel really can reach into other hobbyist uh, computers. Uh, I'm Anthony from Malta. I've been following your channel on YouTube for several months now. Just wanted to share my 250 liter aquarium with you, which I set up using aqua soil on a two inch plenum. This has been running since June of 2021, which would make it seven months old. I'm very happy with the setup, which looks to be very stable. Just a detail, I didn't use a ladder right. I also have external filter set up traditionally. <clears throat> the external filter he has is an Eheim Blights, and he's using an Eheim external filter. Thanks a lot for your knowledge and sharing. Keep it up. Best regards, Anthony. Um, I thought I'd make this short video because uh, Anthony is, is a prime example of what a beautiful aquarium can look like using a plenum. And, th and, this, and this is from somebody who uh, is from Europe using the system. And you would think they would have a disadvantage compared to us in the United States or United Kingdom. But look at this aquarium. I want you to look closely at the substrate. Look at the root system how it's developing within seven months' time. This is one of those aquariums that you would most likely see in a magazine, in a mono uh, magazine, uh, or some other tropical fish hobbyist magazine. And I thought I would show you this to give you not only an insight of what other hobbies are doing, but what they're doing from other countries and how they're really shining using a plenum and an oxy filtration system, which is, which is uh, encouraging to everybody out there when somebody can make a beautiful aquarium like this. And you see the root growth and everything. This is exactly what I've been talking about on my channel, about how you can get water movement through the substrate to bring those nutrients into the plants so the plants can use them. And this is seven months worth of growth. And uh, I just thought it was amazing. It's, it's a wonderful aquarium. The root system, as you can see in the, in the plenum, is just absolutely going like gangbusters. And here's why I'm bringing this up. How many tanks do you see out there? I'm just being honest with you. On YouTube, where the, you could see the substrate just full of roots like you do in this picture here. Um, I have to admit, either n it's between none to not very many. I, I got to really admit that. You don't see this excessive root growth with plants in other videos uh, like you do this. So this should be encouraging for those people who are thinking about it or on the fence of, what I've been talking about, moving fluids, getting the nutrients to the root system, and because of the whole thing is, a long time ago, when we used to move fluids real fast, you couldn't grow plants. Well, now we know better that fluids need to move, but very slowly, to build the right kind of environment for plants. And here's proof positive. So I just thought I would make this quick video for you just to hurry up and show you this beautiful aquarium and I don't think anyone out there can deny this is not a beautiful aquarium and wouldn't you like to own an aquarium like this within seven months and I have to admit that this uh, this puts to shame any of my aquariums you <laughs> know definitely but so my next videos I'm going to have a part one and two to keep them short is going to be about lighting. And I think that will be interesting to people because a lot of new people and old people, we make the mistake of buying the wrong kind of lighting or we buy lighting based off of what we have saw in a YouTube video that uh, we regret later that we have to buy 
another replacement light for the one we bought or we have to wind up buying more lighting than what we thought we needed to buy because the people who did the reviews didn't explain to us exactly um, everything about the lighting systems that are out there and how it could be a little deceiving that you wind up buying the wrong lighting system. Okay, so that will be in the next videos coming up. And uh, there will be a review involved in that. It will not be a paid review, of course. It, it's a review of a lighting system, which uh, I will be showing you. And believe it or not, you're going to want to watch this. It's very reasonably priced. Yep, you heard that right. It's very reasonably priced. And if I told you that one of these lights that costs less than 90 bucks puts out 6,000 luminous for less than $90. That's a lot of light. And I will be explaining that to you where I think this could be something that could be very, very promising and could be a killer for some of these very, very expensive aquarium lights that are coming out that uh, hobbyists sometimes become very, what should I say, dissatisfied with the results that they are giving them. So that will be in my next two videos. It will be a two-part video trying to keep it short because uh, some people don't like long videos. So I'll try to keep it short. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed looking at Anthony's Aquarium from uh, Malata and uh, which I think is amazing. So if he can do it and he lives in Malata where the population is nowhere near any of our cities, what is a population of, of only about uh, half a million people and if he can do it I'm sure you can do it and have a beautiful aquarium like his. There should be no problems and no questions about can I do it or I, th I think it could be good or is there proof that it works? Well, here's your proof. Seven month old aquarium. Absolutely gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned for other videos coming up about lighting on my next two videos. And uh, happy fish keeping.